Hello everyone and welcome to this extraction skills guide. Some people have asked what skills are good, so I will explain it here. So first off we look into the primary skills are full extractor needs. And don't get confused about the points here. But if you are an Ogmir for example or any character with a few intelligence points maybe, then uh, the points are enough. If you have 100 intelligence for example, then you can have all these skills to 100 no problem. Even something like 70 intelligence would be enough. But before we go into detail of uh, these skills, we look closer to the Ogmir Glade Gifts. So if you just want to go full Extractor for example, or a Heavy Tank or a Fat Mage or whatever you're planning, keep in mind that these Glade Gifts will give you a huge advantage over the years. I mean, um, if you're playing Mortal Online, you may be playing for 10 years, 20 years, or maybe the rest of your life, like I will do, then something like 5%, 2% or whatever from, from extracting is actually a lot. I mean, if you do it on a day-to-day -day basis. So just for example, the Iron Master, the bonus yield when refining is very good, and the Metallurgist, bonus yields when extracting. That is very interesting. But now, back to our chart. We start with advanced ore extraction. You don't really need advanced ore extraction until you're planning to do high-end shit. In fact, for simple steel production you only need these primary skills. And you don't need more skills if you want to do a messing for example. So everything that is above steel, like skedite, tindramic messing, tung steel, chronite, ogmium, then you need all of these skills. Alchemical dissolvents is needed to extract catalysts but is not needed to extract with catalysts. That is how it was in Mortal Online 1. But we currently don't know how Star Wars will implement uh, that in Mortal Online 2. But uh, they took the whole system and implemented it again. Exactly like it was. So I think we can rely on that. So alchemical dissolvents can be gathered from some ores at the Fabricola. But I don't go into detail here. So just for example, if I take Malachite and throw it in the furnace, then I'm also getting Sulfur. But here comes the point, it's not exactly needed. Because you only need this skill if you want to extract something and want to get out that stuff. But if you're extracting a lot of Tefra for example or Gabor, then having alchemical dissolvents is in my opinion a very good idea. But now back to our primary chart, to our alchemical mineralogy. That is pretty awesome to have and yeah I highly recommend that. Because yeah you want to get out Calamine, Jark Glands, Cinnabar, Cuprete, Cinnabar to extract Ichor and Sulfur. Cuprete don't have a usage right now. Kimurit lore from the crater Kimuru. Yeah, that is an end boss big rock golem. Then cyanide and pyrupite, you will get that out of magmum and yeah, you will extract it anyway because um, if you have this skill tree, you will definitely mining tephra. And of course, sanguinite for the for the fresh, nice, sexy ogmium. I mean so sexy like the story when I was on the beach and yeah, I'm getting too much off topic. Okay, let's continue with the waterstone lore. If you're planning to make tung steel, then yes, you need the waterstone lore, of course, for lupium and gem metal. So for tung steel and tindramic messing production. So back to our primary skill list. Alchemy, uh, yeah, that is uh, the primary overskill, so yeah, no. We already discussed uh, that two minutes long now. Alchemy contraptions, that is needed for the fabricula. And you need the fabricula for extracting lupium out of waterstone just for example. And lupium is needed for tung steel. Tung steel is also the baseline of uh, the ogmium production and you can extract a few things more with the fabricola. But if you just want to make steel then you don't need the, that. So basic ore extraction, yeah it basically says basic ore extraction and yeah it, it's meant for tier 1 materials so yeah extracting granum, zebura, gabor, tephra and calcs. But if you want to go further, you need intermediate ore extraction for tier 2 materials. Then of course the blast furnace. If you're living in Galcor or your guild controls the area, yeah the blast furnace is a very good option. But if you don't have access to a blast furnace, yeah drop the skills, use it elsewhere. And if you have access again, throw a few dial in it and a little bit of water and cook in it and yeah level your uh, blast furnace skill with that. If you want to get out Acronite out of Pyroxane, then more or less the Blast Furnace is your only option. 
because with other extraction devices you will only get out a 3 to 5% or something or even less compared to the blast furnace and for acronite of course. If you use your normal furnace extraction recipes and throw that in a blast furnace you will get out a lot more materials depending on the material but it's around uh, 30% or even more. Then the Greater Natorus, it works like yeah the Blast Furnace but with a Natorus. But the main thing here is if you are extracting Tephra you will get out a lot of Galbinum. And if you throw that into a normal Natorus in a Blast Furnace or in a Furnace, okay yeah, the Blast Furnace gives a little bit more than the Furnace but anyway, you will waste a lot of materials. So throw your Galbinum in the Greater Natorus to get out a lot of Pyroxene that you can further extract to acronite, that you can further refine to chronite and to ochmium. And you can also use the Greater Natorus to throw in your pyroxene to get out more almine that is needed for refining ochmium. But you will get out only a few acronites, so yeah. But I think if you are at that point you actually know what you're doing and you don't need this video. Intermediate ore extraction we already had that. <laughs> Had that. Okay, anyway, to master alloys. That is the needed skill for chronite and ochmium, of course. But I think Star Vault already planned to um, give us new metals and new materials, I think. Down the line, maybe in a few years, we will get um, some other high end materials. Or maybe never. No one knows. Except Henrik and the Star Vault team. So now to my favorite topic metals. And to heavy metals, and I don't mean the music genre. And no, I will not go into detail here. Because trust me, I will make a video about every material out there. Because many materials have multi-use cases. Uh, uses, sorry, uses, multi-uses. Or uses like US, US and A, USA. Oh man, sorry, the longer the videos are, the more shit I'm talking. So basically to break it down, if you extract something, if you use something to extract something, please read the books to the end. And yes, I know it's annoying to wait uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 weeks uh, until you can finally really start. But at least you can gather some rocks while you're reading the books. And yeah, I highly suggest to read every secondary because the secondary don't need your primary points. So yeah, it's worth it. But now just for the lols, many people have asked about that. Glimmer lore, that is the lore of the Glimmer Rock. And the Glimmer Rock was in the Troll Cave in Mortal Online 1. It was a shiny, sexy golden rock. And you were able to use the Glimmer Rock powder as a catalyst for everything you do. And it was the best catalyst. I hope they will implement that soon. Because Glimmer Rock is worth a ton of money. Now we look closer to ore extraction operations. Appliances, I mean appliances. Yeah, I hate to say that, but uh, yeah, it depends again. But I would say the most needed are the Fabricula, the Crusher, the Grinder, the Natorus and the Attractor. And the Furnace, of course. And for everyone who is wondering what uh, this is, that was not in-game in Mortal Online 1. Nobody have seen in the Mortal Online 2, so I think Star Vault will patch it in someday, I hope. And I hope it will be balanced from the start. So if you go back to our chart, we have only Petrology left. And that are these big charts again, and no, I will not go into detail. I think I will make dedicated videos for every material because every material deserves it. And you have so many possibilities with all these extraction tools and with all these refining that you have a lot of possibilities and opportunities for and with every material. So a full extractor is a really hard job. If for example your guild or your allies don't control the Gal core area for the blast furnace and from the for the Greater Natorus, the cave camp area, and then you will have a hard time as full extractor. But if you don't have access to the blast furnace or the Greater Natorus, I highly suggest you just start out with steel alone. And only if you want uh, tank steel, chronite, ochmium, tendramic, messing, scadite, then I suggest to you to go full extractor. So I really hope you found uh, this guide helpful. So it would be awesome if you leave a like and subscribe, of course. Don't forget to make party hard and goodbye.